there is a concept from permaculture in Austria, Germany called Hugo culture. And in Hugo culture, they deliberately bury woodsy debris to provide a long-term source of woodsy matter to break down for many, many years to come. And in some instances, they do this as mounds for vegetable plantings, but I typically like to uh, utilize this idea when I'm working on a slope that's more swaled and there's spots where I want to kind of build more of a terrace. I'll put the woods that I clear or maybe drag decaying logs from the, the forest to build the berm. And the key to Hugo culture is to bury that woodsy matter. And I'll get into explaining what it, the difference is between wood up in the air and wood underground in just a minute. But that burying might take the form of more dense wood chips or compost, or maybe you get big round bales of hay and roll them out. There's, there's many ways to accomplish that. So this is one of those bits that may not make sense for the place you are, but if you're planting an orchard and you just heard something, it may be valuable to you in that sense. I know that the thing about urban orcharding for me is sometimes I'm asked to come to uh, cities like Pittsburgh or Philadelphia and the difference between me and New Hampshire and here in North Carolina is like this much. But the difference between me and Pittsburgh <laughs> in terms of like potential to grow fruit leads to questions like, how do you plant a tree in 15 feet deep of brick rubble? And I don't know, that's something to think about, but that's <laughs> putting something like this nearby and scooping in some soil to get the tree started is, is really integral. Anyway, this is just one of those bits that's out there to be familiar with that might be useful to you. Another thing that Patrick's doing a lot with is biochar. Now, I, I am not near as involved with biochar. My biochar is, is basically the carbonized chunks that don't burn in the wood stove and I filter them out. And, and my use of biochar is in the planting hole. And the, the thing about charcoal wood, carbonized wood, is if you look at it under a light microscope, you will see all kinds of porous um, divisions. Mycorrhizae really thrive in there in terms of drawing nutrients out of that carbonized wood. And this is why it's such a great long-term source of fertility. So if you have access to that, there's another thing just to be aware of in planting. It has some long-term ramifications for being a mineral bank for the mycorrhizae. <laughs>